Well, I started with IMAX uh, way back when the system first began, back in 1970, and uh, I love the system. Um, it's a system uh, and, a, and a film technique that will always be unique and always be valuable because um, nothing can replace it. You cannot get that same result of being there unless you're shooting uh, what we call 1570 uh, film. It's this gigantic film that runs through this gigantic camera. Uh, the crew uh, has to be pretty big because the camera's big, all the dollies and, or big cranes that'll lift the camera up or underwater housings that'll take the camera down into the water, or helicopters that'll lift the camera up into the air. All these things have to be extra large and extra powerful um, because the IMAX camera is extra big. So the, these elements uh, uh, tend to cost you a little bit more money and your production time is lengthened because uh, the, the film that you're shooting and the scenes that you want to get across to the audience have to be done in a very perfect way. Uh, you want to wait for the beautifully blue sky day with hard sunshine and, and really brilliant colors. Um, and so an IMAX theater film takes more time to produce and a few more people to produce than a feature film, but the results are more indelibly etched in the people's brains. And, and, it, and it, seeing people after one of our screenings and, and seeing the, the, the excitement on their faces. IMAX has a certain power. It does open people's hearts and minds and eyes to subjects in a way that no other medium can. Um, and no other medium has ever been proven to be as powerful as IMAX. And so, um, you know, that's what I hope that my films are doing, that they're actually showing people the value of nature, the, the natural wonders of the world that deserve being saved. <laughs>